Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Bashalty Agony's Despair, or the uh, Gaze of the Abyss, that's the name of that ability, took me a second. And Shun needs to be just a little bit wary as W here in force and with more mana. What to play they should with. have done for Hue is for each of his abilities have a painting to. Oh, wait, Shun's just dead. Yeah, this is. is not a pretty painting for him. He's hung, holding on to the E, I think he is. Smiling despair to the severing bolt. Won't be needed. Instead, it's just a kill for Hung as they will come on forward. So the fight now can still commence as Helk flaps his way over the wall. The W lands though. Jin with some wonderful geometry moments there with the map packs. What the hell? Oh, gets on in and Elk doing so much damage over the wall. The staggering blows prevents the final kill onto the mid laner of BLG. These early games between these two teams are so fantastic. Ooh. I wonder sticking around to put the magical journey down. I was wondering if he'd thrown himself into an awkward situation. Knights, nice. we got to surf his way out to safety. Just about, and then on with the very needed flash in for the mm. rune. Caused a lot of danger for WE, but it's meant that this early game has been pretty even so far, with the exception of now oh, another I want fight. I want D. No way out of that one. Bard, down for the cap. Sad meep noises. Wait, there are two. Oh. Wait, 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 this is getting... Oh, um, <laughs> it's going to try and find how far that belief goes there. We've got Elk with the Caulfields, Warhammer. The W with two points in it as well. Well, it's already kind of nasty. You can see how much damage Elk is putting out in terms of that poke value. Dragon put up early. Level six on the Shin, so important fight for them. The damage Hong has got the Crescent Guard down, doing a fair amount of the Spiraling Spell onto On, puts him in danger. The roots are just so obnoxious. That follow up range from WE. Famous, like, this is my one pick, so this champion's pocket pick is actually me. <laughs> it's like Faker and Rise. Yeah, the Karzich was a hell of a thing. Oh, I miss those days. So, in Karzich. Now, Knight, we haven't seen him really use globals. The fights have been around mid lane, now he goes top. Wayward about to be put in a very specific direction. That's not very wayward at all, it's just six feet under. Bin and Talia. Oh from Knight, link up to get a nice kill towards the top lane. There's a word in English we no longer use. We have the Nautilus and the Bard, they can start roaming, as opposed to if we had a Nami or something like that. The way that these LPL supports play is very oh differently when we have a fight in bot side. On oh, misses the hook as top well, side. which means he's about to get switched off. Knight gets hit by the Tempered Fate as well, and I don't think Knight has many ways out. You can only move an L shape, so it'll be an L for the mid laner of BLG. It's check in the top lane as they check their hands on keyboards. Woo! Bin doesn't even have teleport, just wanders his way down, and Stay will be leaving it very rapidly under the tower. Uh, Bin just decides that at least they'll get something back. That felt very unfair, so flash heals, and there's still a flash counter. How does Flash leap strike? Well, okay, coming. so Hung's in the back line. He doesn't have Flash, but he has ult. Knight's getting caught and he doesn't have Flash. This is danger moment for BLG. The curtains have been called. On's been slowed and taken down by about a third of his HP bar. And Knight just goes down unhorsed in the jungle. You have a lot of night lines. Oh, yeah. And right now it's two and one, doing quite well. A little bit behind in this matchup. You somewhat expect that to, uh, until you get towards that profane Hydra. BLG, they're looking potentially for another fight. We've got it starting now. The audacious charge comes on through and the curtains are called, but it's time to figure out whether this is a tragedy or a history. As Wayward goes on in, and they might be rewriting that one. Wayward written by the victors. Wayward goes on forward to start swinging the dark in blade. W E eviscerate the fight. Baron's not quite spawned, but they can certainly shove to get a lot more out of that fight. And you're waiting for Elk and, uh, and, and Knight to really be the difference makers, but they just don't have the positioning. BLG, they've been pushing very hard for objectives, but they haven't really been able to do that in this game. Honestly, it felt like Bin had been the one getting more out of this game, and maybe a moment like this would be exactly what's needed, but the ult to pop. Bin flashing on him with the redemption here. Teleport coming on through Wayward. Toe desperately low. Does go low, but not down! He survives! And Bin, well, he's been kicked over. Oh, and the magician of the top lane is not. Look at how it's all looking. Don't have the information now. again. So Bin was potentially getting jumped on there. And uh, again, they have, they're working on assumed information. They don't really have great vision. On has flash, has alt. Maybe he can be a big fight starter. All it takes is one Viego reset to turn things around. That. Where's the Smolder stack? Smolder is here. And everyone's starting to fire out. The curtains are called once more. But who on earth is being asked to take a bow? Fourth shot finally goes wide. That tempo not quite on the mark. There's a long reference to a movie or two there from that one, but Knight backs away. But if Elk gets a good DPS angle, um, it's gonna get difficult for them. Because the one thing BLG do have to their name is a hell of a lot of scaling. Jax can do some work, but it doesn't matter if the scaling's there. If you're dead before you can use it, Crescent Guard comes on through, hung, knocked up, but wayward. not really knocked down, wayward into the backside. I think the only person who is wayward right now is on way out of line and put down for the count. 
It is a knockout blow for now. Still a round or two to play, but Baron is the prize of that particular oh, counter punch. Sean, man. It'll just be a secure from WE. The problem is, of course, you are running a Jin who is one of the notoriously the worst Baron takers in the game. But it's still fast enough at this point to be able to secure it without too much contestation mid. And WE are very swiftly getting this wave into tower. Stay though. Heal and Ghost Blades keep safe. But look who's here! It's shot at the backside! Just doesn't leave and stay falls down. Baron Shove already punished from BLG, who aren't quite out of this game yet. The Jim stolen roots. body means the deadly flourish can come on through! And Elk roars to life, claiming another kill. Oh, you can't count out the static shock of this Billy Billy. They catch WE a bit for the stacks that Smolder needs. Very much online. Temple Ooh. Fate interrupts the hook. The deadly flourish afterwards doesn't quite land. The Crescent Guard's in. Only's trying to run away. This time the dredge line connects valuably. Will avoid the fourth shot, but is in an awkward position. Does have a blast cone though, so should be able to get out to safety. But Wayward now taking the opportunity to try and get some damage down. Redemption coming on through and on will die. Bad choice on the blast cone to stay in the fight. You have to feel. Spiraling Despair lands on Bin. But will only take into about half HE. The uh, HP and the... But uh, they are still on the back foot, make no mistake. I was about to mention that actually. Knight in a very good position. Bin not going to get pulled back. Hook fours. Can they get a Knight. reset finally? Does a lot of work to keep Wayward alive. Mom comes flying on through the helicopter parent to end all helicopter resets. parent. Begin to allow some resets to happen. Smolders executes in. And that means BLG. They just got it scaled, haven't they? Triple kill over towards Elk on the little dragon who could. Feels like the baby scales have fallen off this dragon. They are fully grown. Going towards the Leandries and saying, can I just get a load more ability damage with the mass stacking? He does go back towards that Bloodthirster all the same. And now with him delaying in base, it actually means that WE have an option to go towards the Baron. Remember, BLG, they move quicker with the back cloud soul, but can they get in the pit? Shun has flash and all. Trying to get into the backside. Massive damage onto Iwandi, who goes over the wall to no avail. Smolder claims a sixth kill. Baron secured by Hung and the WE team, but all the while Stay gets run down by Bin. The rest of the team collapses. Wayward alone remains to tell the tale of his team's collapse in this game. Oh, it's the mighty elk which rears its head. Yeah. Horns held high as BLG. They will get themselves a comeback victory, it feels like. They lose the Baron. At least you pop quiz. That was a, that was a weird time. Um, I won that pop quiz. It was very fun. Anyway, back. Look, okay, that. folks. This is actually, you know, downside aside. This is very tense. Look. The ult comes through. Hung has no flash. He's caught out. Might have to crash and guard as early. And indeed, he does. It's a lot of value out of it. But the bounce house comes on through. Smolder ultimate. A little bit missed time, but the damage is still there. Tempered fate buys time for Hung to not be executed. Fofo goes golden. But where on earth does he go after this? Is the question. Smolder still free firing. Elk is so big. You've got the knight on your team. There's no one available to bring down this monster. They've all changed teams. The heroes and the villains coordinating to bring down WE. And Wayward, as try as he might, 7-3. and three. Let it not be said that Wayward had a poor game, but he just can't be the difference maker. I guess now. The few times where Alec has been hit by a skill shot, we see that he's still quite squishy, so he needs to be quite careful. He's looking for Q. Oh, oh that's, nice moment! That's try the squishiness. To, yeah, they try to get him, but he's still got a flash of ghosts and a flapping away. Smolder's mom comes flying on through, and the breath of fire brings despair down on the enemies of BLG. Elk jumped on again. This Shin's out doing what they can, but it's just not a Wuxia story, mate. We're over in a Western fantasy. This dragon screams violence. Wayward does some work on the side, but the feet are just not fancy enough, and the world ender is dead for world elite. Ah, the dragon is a sign of imperial power. Power from the heavens itself, and BLG felt like that was where they were destined in the start of this split. They've had a couple of knocks, but they're still at 8 and 1. An elk on the dragon itself, doing a great job of allowing BLG to have that comeback story. You should have known, really, guys. It's the year of the dragon. Elk lives up to it and absolutely brutalizes the late game fights. Play the Gragas, it'll survive lane and hopefully just displace the team a little bit and hopefully deny someone like Alistair being able to stand around in a team fight and most importantly, stop the Kindred ultimate being able to save the carries that you do get on top of with something like the Nautilus. Yeah, While the engage is coming on to you, counter engage, then this game goes very, very well. W, we need a strong early game, starting with the E on the, uh, on the Shin Sao, Wayward. He's trying to block off his jungler. 
Kindred is normally very good in the early game because of how much damage they can do from such a long way away. But part of the problem they're finding is Xintao's also excellent, but the whole rotation comes on through from BLG. A three-man body slam might buy some space. How many flashes are we going to have to see popped as Wayward just stands in here, gets a grass, goes on forward, Ben flashes away, and Kindred gets first blood and mark. Shun off to the races already. Lamb looking more like Stay. the wolf half of Kindred. Side here comes Elk! Stay and Elk are here as well. What on earth is happening? Shun hops over the wall, flashes away from Wayward's attempted body slam, and stays alive! It's a two for two, <gasps> as blood is smeared! 80% of his HP bar. And that's now awkward. Now he has to come back bot lane, you feel. He has to reset immediately, but these swiftness boosts he's using to snowball the rest of the map. No flash on bin. There's no flash anywhere, really, as we've just been talking about. Is, uh, they're going to just murder away the crocodile. A new pair of boots to match yeah. Iwandi's ones he bought for first, but he's got the third kill as well! <laughs> Team World Elite have been playing all the way since 2011, no. and they had Messiah, they've had Wei Xiao, they've had, of course, so many great players we playing go. for them. And they're looking for a fight around oh, topside. Oh, exactly that. The story time leads us into more violence. That'll be the 13,000th kill for the organization, claimed by Wayward. And then we're back to what's the grubs. I have loved this series. I I'm sorry, I, I disappointed <laughs> you. The guys have sat there like, Oh yeah, on the official broadcast, we could do what we want. <laughs> uh, Stay has no flash, he has uh, no hope, he's and flash. he's Very going to die. Leave, but it does, it's not going to save him, he just sits there and takes the pain. Oh wait, that's a good wall run! When's no. the flash up, surely? No flash forward from Elk secures it, but look who else is here. It's uh, Iwandi and the side, of course, of Hung on the Shin Sao. Elk trying to buy some space and time, it was a decent headbutt away, but surely there will be an audacious shot. But then the flap, 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 flash for the start, not a fifth kill! Surely not, don't give it to me, no! I want the one! The fact that he has so much gold is one thing, but because the supports are roaming so much, they're very low level. He has no flash now, he has no combat stats really, and he's gonna get himself d that's death a big onto the board. Down to give over, he's only level 3, so that's just gold 700 over gold. to Shun Zhao. 700 gold over to Shun on that Kindred. He's gonna get a buff steal, and suddenly that Nautilus, the Snowball, might go against him. Bin stacking up the rage with his ult early, looking to dive. Poor, poor Wayward. He's looking like he is dead to rights. Wayward flash, headbutt, pulverize. Wayward immediately put towards the dirt. Goes bedward, as you said in the last one that's got the kills compared to the the Nautilus, which, you know, the jokes aside, it's not the best gold distribution, let's be real, especially when all of them basically are on your support. Maybe though, Iwandi can make some use of it by making these kind of plays happen as on. Gets pulled into a lamb for a spike, keeps him alive. Hung still trying to play his one out. The pop blossom comes on through. Gets a stun onto Fofo, not too much more. Flash forward from Wayward does finally secure the kill. But Bin, Bin. now getting into the backside, looking to get some value. It's a decent cast, but look at Wayward who's going so low. Get picked up. Shun gets his fourth kill of the game. WE need to retreat. It's a one for one. All things said and done. Again, our WE now considering going. This will be the second of the game. It's not the fastest dragon stacking we've ever seen would still get them towards that kind of critical two dragon point which is often a potent point of the game. Teleports behind them. These We're are the wards! Fight. Here we go. This is what they didn't have last game. Small rules, but not that valuable. But stay! Caught out as Knight once again gets to the backside. Will manage to spark surge over the wall, but he's out of the fight. Wayward and Hung trying to run out. Knight on the other side. Perhaps stayed a little bit too long as Fofo finds an opportunity to turn around. The hook afterwards from Iwandi. Solid work. And BLG don't secure the kills. And actually, the turnaround from WB has been excellent. But look into the backside goes Bin, who slices, dices, and culls the meek. The lambs respite comes on time, buying a little bit of space and time, but Shun flashing on out, doesn't have enough to work with, and Fofo gets a double at the end of that one. Shun oh, no. plays Bin, doing so much work, the Seraph shield is good, big Q to heal up, but they just can't cull enough. And the Ruthless Predator is finally brought back down, another pair of boots for Fofo. And it feels- Came on through, the Smolder came online, and quick as you like, the game started turning around very heavily in BLG's favour, they might have to do that again in this one, another early game that's been scrappy to say the least. The hook lands, last time onto Shun, gets knocked up, still doesn't quite have opportunity Ooh, to use the ultimate, just about gets it down, but he's have a way out, the healing comes on through, manages to hop away, but not far enough to get around, and he's drunk under the table by Wayward's Gragas, Wayward now tries to get out from under the tower, Knight's coming on over in the form of the Renekton, Bin on the other side will make sure that they know that that is not the real Renekton, as the Achus come on flying, but... And of course, this time around, the DPS is just so much faster. The wall comes on down to block off any attempt on a mid lane push. And I'm still flanked behind it. But now BLG are here to try and place one out down to 2,000 HP. The smite should surely come on through. The flash forward to try and get in on the pop blossom does to come forward from Knight, who gets something. Wayward likely falling. But that is a paltry trade for the Baron. The cask nearly gets him out to say we're safety. 
but Wayward still for critical mass secured. Maybe this dragon awakening from its slumber can do a little bit more work. Reminder as well, of course, with a soul point for WE, they don't have to kick this dragon, they can just look to trade for Baron instead. Right, he's trying it again, hidden as a melee minion, they're trying to hold, hide his own model under one of these hitboxes. Bin's now alone in the front line, oh, separated boy. from his team. Slice and dice, keeping away for now, we'll get... Oh, oh Sean gets casked! We'll have to talk about other things, but the fight commences regardless. Smolder Ult comes on through. Damage back is big! Look at Elk's damage! He's just untouched! The Smolder's doing it again! BLG! Somehow every game, Smolder and Kindred just come online! BLG, fine. You have great damage, but you're not going to be able to go fight for the Infernal Soul if you take this Baron. They're low enough HP. This could be a huge mistake by BLG. Fofo could do a lot of work. The first set of the Threaded Volley doesn't get that much value down. Does start to go forward. Does Bin. Still pretty low. Reminder, there is no option to use the Dominus. Teleport now flying on through into the backside. Go, Bin! Fofo's dead! Bin does it! He doesn't even need to use the Flash. Now Wayward needs to go over the wall and without the mid. Down and they clawed their way up that mountain face. Yet again, a mountain's made out of brickwork, I don't think they are either way. It's a very strange mountain, well, but... Smolders are made of stacks, and he's got th over 330-odd of them right, right now, so he's doing quite a lot of Alts work. Alts into mid lane, Fofo yeah. trying to block off the team. Bin, not there to front line, oh. and neither is on right now. The Super Scorcher Breath just begins to shred them. Look at the burn, into the backside goes Bin. Smolders' mother comes flying nice. forward, and it's just a family affair. Look at this one, BLG will wreck them all. Moment to moment, the health bars begin to dwindle. The executes begin to come on through. It's not an Elder Dragon, but it's an Xbox thing. An it's not always been the cleanest games. We've asked them to cl close games uh, a bit more cleanly, but it hasn't needed to be that today. They've Let's ended cast. up just fighting the way back from the brink. Once again, Smolder just breathes all over him and the fire cooks him to a crisp. Nothing to be done. WE. A valiant series. Some solid moments in these games, but the mid-late fights. Smolder hits critical mass and the game is just- These were some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.